See that bubbling that's happening right here in the airlock? This is how we know that the yeast is doing its job. We can also smell it. <clears throat> so, uh, we're in the pantry and I, I could smell the, I could smell, it's not really, it's not a bad smell, but it's just a, a different smell and you can smell it from a, a good ways away when you're close to the pantry. So I knew something was happening. I came in here and checked and sure enough, this guy was bubbling away. So it is working. It is fermenting. You can see kind of through the fast fermenter, this <clears throat> layer right here. This stuff is going to kind of build up during the process and then sink down to the bottom over time. So it's working. I was here with the chickens, my mom's chickens, using up the spent grain. I think they know there's a treat coming. Want a treat, chickies? All right, chickens, come on. Come on, check it out. It's not going to hurt you. Look at these chickens. I'll give some to you ladies too. Alright. They are enjoying it now. I put some on both sides of the fence. Yeah, the spent grains from the brewing, being able to be a little treat for the chickens is pretty cool. Pretty cool little byproduct. And they love it. Through the magic of the YouTube time machine, we're here to keg this beer. Yes, it may seem like we just brewed this beer. It may seem like you just saw an update of fermentation beginning. And now it's time to keg. Let's talk about kegging our beer. So this is going to be a keg conditioning. But if you remember me talking about this guy, we are going to collect the stuff at the bottom. So I'm going to do that by turning this valve to the off position so that we don't lose any beer and then just unscrewing. Just unscrewing the bottom with all the stuff in it. Okay, as you can see from what's dripping out, it's just kind of the sludge, the leftovers from the process of fermenting. But now we've got the majority of that out. We're going to make sure that we get nothing but the clean beer in the keg. 
So let's talk about what is sanitizing right now. Right now we have the lid to the keg is sanitizing. The O-ring that goes in between the keg and the lid. We have the nozzle that we're going to attach the, to the fermenter so that we can put hose on it to drain the beer out. And last but not least, we have the hose itself that will be doing the, the draining. So I'm going to get this stuff hooked up and we'll start the kegging process. Running our hose down into the keg from here. And now we release the beer. And there it goes. The beer is now running into the keg. Once this fills up, we will get some air on it, get it in the kegerator, and wait longer. Beer's in the keg, sanitized lid. We will put it, put the lid on there, pull it up, and lock it down. Okay, beer is sealed in the keg to condition. Now, let's get to the kegerator and get some air on it. Okay. Beer is in the keg rater. We have our air tank, CO2, going into our regulator so I can set the pressure, going into the keg. So we will turn the air on. And then we will let it, what line are we on? We are on the first line. Okay. So now that the air is running into the tank, what we want to do is we want to purge any oxygen that got in there. And you do that with this little ring. And we're just going to, it's called burping it. We're just going to burp it. And you can hear the gas filling it up every time we do this. We're going to do this a handful of times. I also like to rock it during this stage as well. Helps work the CO2 down into the beer. Okay. And now the waiting game for this beer to condition, carbonate, and be ready to drink. Now, I get to clean everything again. My favorite part. That's it for this update. Next time we see this beer, hopefully it'll be in a glass.